Welcome back. The flavors of Austin and the Hill Country combined this weekend at the Austin Food and Wine Festival with activities at both Butler Park and Republic Square Park. And joining me today is Georgia Johnson. She is the author of an Austin-based food blog called Comfort of Cooking. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm well, excited you, to be here. You have a, a food that's going to be sampled yep. uh, at the Food and Wine Festival Absolutely. this year. It is the Tex-Mex Chicken Taco Flatbread. Yep. It's a fun little twist on um, traditional pizza, but with a little southwestern flair. Yeah. And it's got a little nice color for spring, and it's smelling really good. I mean, I could go in for a bite right now myself, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, we'll show you what, it, what it's all about yeah, first. Yeah, kind of walk us through it. Yeah. So um, here's the finished product, actually. Mm -hmm. It's nice and colorful. It's versatile and really easy to make. It looks like it's um, kind of baked like a pizza. Is that it is. Yeah, yeah. And it only takes 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Uh -huh. um, if you'd like, I can show you how to make one from start to finish. Yeah, sure. Minus the oven of of course, yeah. but um, first thing we do is put on a bit of salsa. And this bread is fantastic. It's just a really versatile canvas for really any pizza toppings that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. I've created all different kinds of things with it, but this is my favorite. So the salsa obviously. is so the tomato sauce, basically. The salsa is basically your tomato sauce, yep. Mm -hmm. And it adds a nice little spice. Kids love to decorate flatbreads too and, yeah. and put their own little spin on it as well. Oh, it's very colorful. Yeah. That yeah. probably helps. So, and next goes on a little bit of cheese uh -huh. for the base. Mm -hmm. And I can't get enough cheese with this baby to be personally, <laughs> but we'll keep it. We'll keep it to a minimum. Yeah, a good pizza has a, a lot of cheese. Yeah, that's for sure. That's the Texas way, right? That's right. And so then, then on goes the um, chicken. This is pre-cooked chicken. You yeah. can use whatever you have on hand. Um, I like to use just kind of leftover grilled chicken or grilled steak. Mm -hmm. um, you could even use leftover Easter ham. I know everybody's probably got some yeah, of that at home. Good point. And uh, next goes on the. Chopped up grape tomatoes, you can use chopped plum tomatoes if that's what you have on hand as well. But yeah. really anything does. I'm all about using kind of what, what's available yeah, at the moment. Yeah, what's available, sure. It just keeps it easy. Now, <laughs> talk about your blog a little bit. Yeah. What, what do you write about? Um, my blog kind of spec uh, kind of um, focuses on lighter twists on traditional comfort foods. Okay. So, you know, casseroles and, and roasts and things like that. But just made a little bit lighter. Not always. I yeah. have a bunch of indulgent favorites on there. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I mostly do. I've been doing it for about three years now and have partnered up with Stonefire, which has been a longtime favorite. And, and they're uh, the flatbread yeah. company. Yeah, they're the flatbread. And this is their um, original naan, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It's just, like I said, a great canvas for pizza recipes and uh, really easy, versatile to work with. Um, it has no additives, preservatives, anything like that. It's what you see is what you get. So it's, um, it's really, really a lot of fun. Well, let's talk about the Food and Wine Festival going yeah. on uh, this weekend at both Butler Park and Republic Square Park. I know this will be your first time out at the event. Yep. Um, what all are you looking forward to? What can we expect out there? I'm looking forward to just meeting everybody, um, seeing some new faces. You know, Austin is a great foodie town, so oh, yeah. Yeah, people will be coming in droves, I think, to get a sample of this flatbread and um, just... You know, people people to be coming in and checking out what we have to offer. And this is part of the is it the Great Tasting Room? Is it that is? It's the Grand Tasting Grand Pavilion tasting where we'll mm -hmm. be. And uh, we'll be there serving up um, this flatbread and, mm -hmm. and some other favorites probably from, um, actually the timeline is not sp specific for this, uh -huh. for Saturday, but um, we'll be there just all afternoon just serving up. So in addition to the grand stuff, tasting yeah. area, there's demos and panels, there's book signings and a chef's uh, showcase all out at the Austin Food and Wine Festival. It actually um, starts tonight. There's a feast under the stars out at Butler Park to get things started tonight, and it goes through Saturday if you'd like to check it out. Yeah, Georgia Johnson, thank, thank you so you much for much. being here. Thank you. It was a pleasure. All right. Have fun this weekend. Thank you. You sure will.